Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to convert a Shopify store to a mobile app in 2023. Converting your Shopify store into a mobile app can help you reach a wider audience and provide a seamless shopping experience for your customers. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of converting your Shopify store into a mobile app. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial step. So here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser this could possibly have. And of course, before even converting your Shopify store to a mobile app, it's essential to reach and choose a mobile app development platform that suits your need. There are several platforms available, such as React Native, Flutter, or Native App Development for iOS and Android. So make sure to consider factors like development skills, time, budget, and the specific requirements of your app. Once you've chosen a mobile app development platform, install the necessary tools and set up the development environment. Of course, this may involve installing ADE, Integrated Development Environment, or SDK, K or uh, which is software development kits and of course other dependencies is specific to your chosen platforms. And then follow the documentation provided by the platform to ensure a smooth installation process. So of course let's just go to uh, their website as an example. Of course as I said there is the React Native, there is the Flutter and there is the uh, native app development native app development so hit the enter button and go for go to their website all of them and of course here as i said before you'll have to go and choose one for your own of course, make sure to go and read everything about any of them. So make sure to go and read about this React, React Native, about this Flutter. Of course, if they have any plans that you may would like to subscribe on, uh, you would like to hear from their community. Of course, I suggest you to do that uh, so you will know what platforms will be best for you or suit your needs. So once you choose, of course, as I said, you will have to go and install the development environment for you. And of course, the, you will have even to design the user interface or UI and user experience, which is the UX of your, of course, mobile app. So consider the brand element of your Shopify store and create a design that reflects your brand identity. Make sure to pay attention for navigation or to navigation products, display cards, functionality, and any additional features you want to include in your mobile app. Then, of course, to integrate your Shopify store with the mobile app, you will need to connect to your Shopify API. Of course, this will allow you to retrieve product information, customer data, and other relevant details. So, you will have to follow the Shopify API documentation to set up an API access, then obtain the API keys and learn how to make API requests. So, of course, you can all go to your Shopify store as an example and log into your account. If you have an account, normally you will have one. If you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create your own account, of course. And from here, of course, you'll have to go and get access to your Shopify uh, or to your API from the settings down below. And of course, you will have to go and using, of course, the mobile app development platform. So depending on what you choose, as an example, uh, you will have to start developing the core features and functionality of your mobile app. Of course, this may include displaying products, managing the shopping cart, uh, processing payments, managing user accounts, and any other features specific to your Shopify store implement or API uh, calls to fetch data from your Shopify store and update it in real time. Of course, you'll be able to see for yourself as an example, if you click on your online store here, you'll be able to see everything here. So make sure to have it everything or have everything on your app. Of course, you can even once you click on view store, You'll find everything here, all pages. So make sure to go and add everything into your mobile app, as we said. And of course, thoroughly, uh, you'll have to go and test your mobile app to ensure it functions correctly and provide a smooth user experience. You can even test various scenarios, such as browsing products, adding items uh, to the cart, and making payments. You can even use the bugging tools provided by development platforms. 
from uh, the options that you choose uh, to identify, of course, and fix any issues that arise during testing. And of course, make sure to optimize the performance of your mobile app by optimizing the code. Minimize any file size and ensuring fast loading times. Consider implementing features like push notifications, social media, uh, social media sharing and in-app analytics to enhance the functionality and engagement of your app. Of course, continuously uh, gather user feedbacks and make interactive improvements to provide the best possible mobile app experience. Of course, if you're having any issues with the app or as an example with the coding of it or anything, of course, you can always use the chat GBT. So go to new tab, go to chat openai dot com and hit the answer button if you have an account login into it if you don't go and create your account for your own and of course chat gpt will help you with anything as an example let's just type i want to create an app from my show if i store as an example and of course, let's just see what he's going to say. So as you can see, he's going to even give you the steps one by one. And if you stuck on a step, you can ask him as an example. I am uh, stuck on coding my app. Can you help me as an example? So of course, you can even go, as you can see, of course, I'll be happy to help you with your coding, you with coding your app. So please provide me with the details. So simply just go and paste the code here and ask him if there's any issues with your code, any improvement that he can he make or something like that. And of course, once you're done with everything kind of, so once you're satisfied with your mobile app, it's time to publish it on the app store. So follow the guidelines and requirements of Apple's Apple Store and even Google Play Store to prepare your app for submission. Of course, you can create an app store listing and upload the app screenshots, write an engaging app description and set up an, uh, an appropriate pricing and distribution settings. You can even set it for free if you want to. And of course, make sure to promote your newly launched mobile app to drive downloads and increase user engagement. Utilize various marketing channels such as social media, email marketing, paid advertising, and collaborations with influencers to reach out to your target audience, of course. So, of course, you will have to even encourage existing customers to download the app and provide initiative for the app, incentive for the app. Uh, for the app referrals, of course. And you will be normally good to go after you've done all of this. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully maybe can converted your Shopify store to a mobile app in 2023. Of course, by following these steps, you've expanded your business reach and provided a convenient shopping experience for your customers. Remember to regularly update your mobile app with new features and improvements to keep users engaged. So, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. So, thank you for watching and best of luck with your mobile app. And I will see you in the next video.